I feel that cows can be emotional creatures, but they have, in my mind, two primary states, and that is either content or stressed. And the goal is really to have them content most of the time. They have a pretty good life here. An average morning starts anywhere between five and six, depending on how far away the cows are. My name is Toffer Sabat, and we are here at Cricket Creek Farm. Cricket Creek Farm has been a working dairy farm back into the late 1800s. I grew up 200 meters down the road. My parents decided to purchase the farm with the primary goal of protecting the land. My mom and I realized that if we actually wanted to make it work from a business perspective, we had to do it ourselves. That started this whole project of converting the farm to grass-based value added. So our primary thing is we graze cows and milk cows and we make that milk into cheese. All the milk is used here on the farm. About 90% of it is made into cheese. The decision to make cheese was really based on the economics of dairy farming and small dairy farms are going out of business almost faster than you can count. Like a 30, 40 cow dairy selling bulk milk, there's just not many of those left because the finances just don't work out. There are so many differences between a large factory farm and what we do here. How we feed the animals is maybe the biggest. We're a grazing farm, so from early May through at least mid-October, depending on the season, but often into November, we can graze the dairy cows outside on grass. So like soil health, pasture health is huge. And really that's where things start. So I would say my favorite part of farming is that I don't have a favorite part. And it's really the variety that I love. I love problem solving and there's constantly problems that need to be solved. Maybe right now the thing I do love most is farming with my kids. You know, you don't have that many jobs where you can just bring your kids to work. You know, and this morning on our way to work, my wife dropped off our two-year-old. She rides around in the backpack for a while and sharing those moments and that time is incredible. I think Berkshire Grown's an amazing organization in terms of really building on the local sustainable food movement. An organization like Berkshire Grown that can represent farmers and provide an interface between customers and farms is huge. Thank you.